What is up guys, it is Senator. Um, I've made a new series, this is basically the original episode. Um, I don't think anyone has made one like this before and I know it won't get much views, but I'm not doing it for the views, I'm doing it for you guys. And if you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button and if you have any suggestions for any new top 5 videos I should make, leave a comment of them in the comment section. So right now I'm going to get into the video and I'm going to start with number 5 which is Dome from Modern Warfare 3. The reason why I've chosen Dome is because it was really easy to get 100 kills on this map. Um, you could trap them in either A or C in Domination and you could always head glitch on B and pick up all the kills no matter what side they were spawning. Um, the Reaper was really good on this map as well because there was actually a lot of cracks in the roof. So the Reaper was amazing on this map. So that's why it's number 5 on the list. Okay, so number four of Charles and Dom from World at War. This is one of the smallest maps on, on Call of Duty history, but the reason why it's only number four is because the kill streaks are not effective. Um, there's no chopper gunner, there's nothing, there's only bow wows and artilleries. So this is why I've put it as number four. Most of the time you have to get the kills with your actual gun and not the kill streaks. So it's at, you have to be you have to be really skilled to actually get 100 kills on this map, but it is easy if you get into the gist of it. If you know where they're spawning, if you know what to do, it's really really easy. So this is why it's number four on my list. Number three on my list is Kill House from Call of Duty 4. This map was really easy to get 100 kills on. Um, the chopper was not effective that much. The airstrike was really effective, but usually you'd kill yourself in the process because of how small the map was. And there wasn't really much places to hide so um it was really easy to get 100 kills on though it was very easy um you could throw a grenade if you had time three grenades you'd guaranteed to get one kill because it's a really small map um i don't think you need skill for it all you need is a good place to hide a five kill streak kill yourself let the airstrike get another five kills and then just carry on carry on carry on and you get 100 kills so this is number three on the list Okay, number two was really hard to choose from. It was either Shipment or Rust. And um, I've chosen Rust over Shipment just because it's so easy to get 100 kills on Rust if you're playing Domination. On Shipment, it's actually harder than it looks. And usually, it's a lot of people trying to call in their kill streaks at the same time. You know, the only reason you're going to get 100 kills on Shipment is if you're the only good person on your team good enough to get all these kills. But with Rust, once you call in the Chopper Gunner, You've literally got 30 kills off that. Um, all you need is a predator missile. That's four kill streak if you got a hard line. And then you get your Harrier. That's six kill streak. The Harrier will get about three, four kills easily. And then you got your Chopper Gunner. That's a ten kill streak with hard line. Chopper Gunner's got to kill every single person that keeps spawning in the same place because it's rust. And then obviously people can have different kill streaks, so they can call in theirs while you're calling yours. Um, it's really easy to get 100 kills. The reason why you don't see much 100 kill gameplay in Rust is because everyone goes for nukes. So it's really easy to get 100 kills in Rust. Not as easy on shipment and if you do get 100 kills on shipment you're usually dying over 60 times in the process. So I hope you guys agree with me on that one. It was a really hard choice but Rust is obviously the easiest choice after thinking about it. So number one on my list is easily Black Ops 1 Nuketown. It's not Black Ops 2 Nuketown or Black Ops 3 Nuketown, it's Black Ops 1 Nuketown. Because the spawns were easy, they'd always spawn in the same place. You get a chopper gunner and you get a gunship as well. So you basically have two of the same, you know, spawn trapping kill streaks. Some people get 150 kills easily. It's easy to get 200 kills on Nuketown if you know what you're doing. Hide behind the couch, get your chopper gunner. You know, carry on the process over and over again. If it's demolition, you know, you leave, you lose one round, you win one round, and then you get the extra time on the third round. If you know what you're doing, it's so easy to get that much kills. So, New Town was an easy choice to be number one. So, I'm gonna end the video here. And if you guys enjoyed this top five, please leave a sub and please tell me what else I should do in the comment section, and I will try my best to do them. So, peace.